Welcome back to the Clean My Space channel. My name is Melissa Maker and I am an accidental cleaning expert. Over the past few years, I've had the opportunity to test out just about every vacuum that Dyson has. And I've done review videos over the years and talking about the lineup of Dyson vacuums over the years. So this year, I am going to give you an update video and talk about what's new, who's who, and some of the exciting things that you can find available in your Dyson vacuums. And just a quick reminder, if you haven't done so already to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel and a special thanks to Dyson Canada for partnering with us on this video and sending me all of these vacuums to try out. Over the years, we've seen a lot of exciting things happen in the cordless vacuum space from Dyson. Uh, when we went from the V10 to the V11, that was a big jump. But in my opinion, the most exciting jump was from the V11 to the V15, which is what I have right here. Now, last year when this first came out, I did a whole review video on it, so I'll pop that for you down below where you can really get into the meat and potatoes of the vacuum, or if you're vegetarian, the tofu and potatoes of the vacuum. But I'm just gonna run over some of my favorite features, some of the new things, because this really sets the stage for some of the new releases in 2022. What you see here is the Laser Slim Fluffy Head Cleaner. It's a mouthful, but it's cool. This is designed for hard floors only, and it was made to solve a problem that a lot of us were having with vacuuming hard floors, which is it can be hard to see where the dirt and the dust is. When I talk about cleaning, I always talk about getting down to eye level or using the light to sort of reflect where the dirt might be, the stuff that you're missing when you're just looking at something straight on. And in fact, by Dyson putting this laser, which by the way, was one of the most expensive pieces they've ever added or components that they've ever added to a vacuum, it illuminates the floor in a different way so that you can actually see what you're picking up. When I compare using a regular vacuum head to this vacuum head on my hard floors, there is a remarkable difference in terms of what I'm able to see and the dirt I'm able to pick up. Now with the V15 Detect, you also get another cleaner head. This one can be used across all floor surfaces and it is called the High Torque Cleaner Head and what it has is an anti-tangle comb built in. This is essentially polycarbon teeth that are put into the cleaner head that comb and pull out hair so that it doesn't get tangled up in your brush roll and stuck in your filter. Now this is a big deal because as someone with A, long hair and B, lots of professional cleaning experience, I know that vacuum heads mostly get clogged up from long hair and strings and then you would have to sit there and cut it and it's a real pain. So this solves that problem. Another seemingly small but big change is changing out the mini motorized head to the hair screw tool. So you're still getting the capability to use a brush roll on a smaller area like in a vehicle or on stairs, but the difference is this conical shaped brush roll that literally corkscrews hair and other long things like ribbons or strings or anything like that right up into the bin. So again, it avoids that tangling and it makes your brush roll and your vacuuming experience cleaner. When you look at the bin capacity of the V15, you get 0.77 liters of dirt that you can pack into this thing. And another upgrade that I absolutely love is a swappable battery. So you get 60 minutes of runtime on these vacuums, and then you can just simply swap out the battery. Depending on the model you get, you might get an additional battery in your kit, or you can always buy an additional battery, but that then instantly ups it to 120 clean minutes. The piezo sensor. This one took me a minute to really wrap my head around, but once I got it, I got it. So there is, if, if you can imagine this, a mini microphone in the bin. It listens to the dirt that comes in. That's the piezo sensor. And why is it listening to the dirt? Two reasons. First of all, it can separate out the size of the dirt by microns, and that helps the vacuum determine how heavy duty it needs to be on suction when it's in auto mode. What does this do? It optimizes your battery life. So if your vacuum's in auto mode, you can actually stretch out how long it can last you because your bin is intelligently separating and listening to this dirt and knowing how heavy duty it has to go based on the area that it's cleaning. So you don't have to think about that. The second thing it does is it gives you kind of this crusty visual confirmation of how much dirt you are actually picking up. You can look at your screen and see this. And in fact, we cover this in that video, which I've got linked for you down below in quite a bit of detail. It is pretty cool. 
The V15 is the best in class cordless vacuum that Dyson has to offer right now. I think this is perfect for small to medium sized homes, or if you're someone that has a large vacuum or central vacuum in a large home and you're looking for something secondary and you really love the latest and greatest in tech, this would be a great choice for you as well. Introducing the Dyson Outsize Plus. Now, let me just give you the provenance of the Outsize Plus. First, it started with the V11, which is sort of the small version that has since been replaced with some of the other models that we have. What Dyson then did was they took that exciting technology that went into V11 and they made the V11 Outsize, which was this much larger version of the V11 for larger homes. What was exciting about that is you got this larger bin, which is what I have here, which is 150% larger than your other bin capacity. So you get almost two liters of bin capacity here, meaning you can essentially replace a regular full-size vacuum with a cordless vacuum. The other great thing about this is it comes with two click-in batteries that last for up to 60 minutes of runtime each. So it gets you that full vacuum, you never lose suction power, and you can clean a large home with just this vacuum without having to constantly empty or worrying about your battery run out. And that brings us to this machine, the Outsize Plus. What Dyson's done here is they've combined some of the really exciting technology from V15 and they've brought it into the full size model. So to review, you get the laser slim fluffy head, which is the same size as the head that you get in the V15, you, which is for hard floors only. You also get the digital motor bar XL head, which is similar to what you get in the V15, but it's 25% larger. And that can be used on both soft surfaces and hard surfaces or floor surfaces, I should say. The mini motorized tool was replaced with a hair screw tool for the Outsize Plus model, which I prefer, quite frankly. Now, this model does not come with the piezo sensor, but it does come with intelligent battery adaptation depending on the type of floor that you're vacuuming. And I have found that to be particularly useful because when I'm in auto mode, if I'm vacuuming over a particularly dirty area, the vacuum knows what to do. The piezo sensor is certainly a great upgrade if you have the V15, but if you need the full size vacuum, to me, the Outsize Plus is an excellent choice. This is the one that I use in my home. So I live in a larger home. It's just under 3000 square feet. And this is perfect for me. I think it would be too big to use something like this in a small home because you know, you'd know you have to store it. And quite frankly, you don't need something that large, but for a full size home, yeah, I don't need to use a big vacuum anymore. This is my jam. Now have a look at this. It looks a lot like the V15, but this is called the V12 Detect. And what it is, is a compact and lightweight version of the V15. So you get a lot of the same technology, you just get it at a lower price and in a lighter model. But let's start right at the bottom, just as we have with our other vacuums and work our way up. So first you'll see we have the laser slim fluffy head, which is great for hard floors to pick up and detect all of that extra dirt that you weren't seeing before. It's also got a motor bar head with detangling veins, so it's that same idea where it's able to separate out hair and strings and it keeps it from clogging up your beater bar, which is awesome. Next up, it's got that piezo sensor, which means it's optimizing your battery use and it will tell you what it's sucking up. It gives you that visual cue so you can actually see how much dirt is going into your bin. You'll notice it comes with a click-in battery as well. I love this feature. I love seeing it on all of these vacuums, quite frankly. And what you can do is pick up an extra click-in battery so that it gets you an extra 60 minutes of runtime. Let's get down to some numbers. When it comes to suction, this machine has 30% more suction than the V8. It's also 24% lighter than the V15, which is great for someone who's looking for something that is lightweight and comfortable to use. When it comes to bin capacity, this clocks in at 0.35 liters, whereas the V15 Detect clocks in at 0.77 liters. But the most exciting thing about this vacuum, the thing that it was a surprise to me, they actually didn't tell me this was coming, is it's got a push button stop start. So I know so many people have said to me before that they just felt that, that you know having to grip the trigger and clean with it was a mobility issue or a mobility challenge for them. And now that we have this push on, push off button, I can tell you maneuvering this vacuum is so 
easy, and frankly, it's a delight to use. I think the Dyson V12 Detect is great for condos, apartments, smaller homes, or again, as a secondary vacuum where you want that great technology, you're just looking for it at a different price point. I will also say that for people who have mobility issues, particularly with their hands or weights, this is an awesome choice. Now, if you're looking for an entry-level cordless vacuum that Dyson offers, you wanna go for the V8. And the reason is, it's still got a lot of great Dyson technology, the filtration, the suction, the tools, the clever design that you're looking for, but you can get it at an entry-level price. The battery gets you up to 40 minutes of runtime. The bin size is about 0.54 liters and you're getting two of the cleaner heads, one for hard floors and one for soft surfaces. So again, you're getting great technology and I would recommend this for small apartments or condos or as I've seen actually this model in retail stores. So a lot of you know, people who have stores, they like to use this to do quick touch-ups. Many people will say to me, Melissa, what should I do? What vacuum should I get? And I mean, I don't know your budget. I don't know your needs specifically, but I will say this. If you're looking to get your hands on a Dyson and you wanna get into the market, this is a great choice. You're getting a lot of tools and a lot of great tech. I know that it feels like a lot of money to spend when you're buying a vacuum and thinking about a Dyson, but I wanna tell you why I firmly believe in this company. They spend a fortune on research and development and they are market leaders. They are the company to be copied. You can look on Amazon, you can look in stores and you will see all of the copycat products that are made to look like a Dyson, but don't necessarily function like a Dyson. Dyson really cares about filtration. They want to make sure that all of the dirt and dust and microscopic particles in your home get sucked up. This is what they say. They have people who are hired specifically to study that. Then they want to make sure that it's all sealed in so that the air that blows out on the other end is actually cleaner than the air that goes in, as opposed to the less expensive vacuum brands that are out there that just want their vacuums to look nice and kind of suck well. They also rethink tools, they rethink designs. They're constantly thinking and innovating about how they can make the vacuum experience easier and more efficient and more effective. So yes, you're paying more for it, but I 100% believe you are getting a superior product. All this vacuum talk brings me to this week's comment question, which is, what is your preferred style of vacuum? Do you like a canister vacuum, an upright vacuum, or a cordless stick vacuum? For me, Hands down, cordless stick vacuum. As someone who used to be a professional cleaner, I mean, I still have a professional cleaning business, but I can tell you when I was cleaning those homes, corded vacuums drove me crazy. You constantly had to find a plug, you would vacuum over it, you had to wind it up, it was a mess. So for me, I'm a huge fan of the cordless stick vacuum. But let me know your preference in the comments down below. And by the way, if you wanna learn more about any of these vacuums, you can visit Dyson Canada Ca. Now, if you're interested in seeing any of our other Dyson reviews, you can check out our whole Dyson playlist right over there. And a couple of ways you can support the Clean My Space channel, you can subscribe to it and you can visit Makers Clean right over there, which is our microfiber products online shop. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.